What a day, y'all, you know how he's like to do, y'all always like to do, and now he always like to get a fire bone. Well, y'all always like to chew, like, get a fire bone. I'm gonna get your boy Jake here with my old high school stupid stories. And we also got a bunch oh, of third stories, and we got, like, a bunch of different shit going on. And we also just love life, talk about new shit, old shit. We just love living life. We love like chilling, talking bats. We uh, you all know how we like to do it. We just like to chill, smoke. We like to smoke weed. We like to... actually for y'all to see you now. I quit smoking weed. I'm trying to get a county job and all that shit. So I officially quit smoking weed. But yeah, I still smoke cigarettes. But I'm still trying to get an actual job in the county. But how are we all doing that? What's going on in our lives currently? I don't know, Charlie's been playing a lot of pickleball. Yo, uh, I kind of quit smoking weed, but I smoked some THA the other day. The first time I ever seen it was you had like a THCA blunt mech in Florida. And uh, so my buddy gets THCA. He's like, yo. It's legal here in Pennsylvania. You can just go to the store and buy this stuff. It's called THCA. And what it is, it's like hemp. But when you burn it, it turns into THC. So it's the same thing as smoking weed. It's le- weed is basically like legalized in Pennsylvania if you buy THCA. It's crazy. Like I, and it's oh, like a secret oh, undercover oh. thing. But yeah, that's how that shit off that. The lightning just. A big thing of lightning just went off. It scared the fuck out of me. Nice. Ugh. Half pussy. <laughs> I almost got killed got by a lightning bolt. One time where I was like chilling up by, by, by my pool. Uh, Excuse me. By my pool. And literally it like shut straight down. And I was like walking inside of like Oh my god, I got blocks around me. Wait, I literally like struck my pool super loud. I look back like, what the fuck? And I jumped inside. I'm like, son, are you okay? I'm like, yeah. I just saw a, a, a giant or lightning rod hit the fucking pool. I thought it was going to kill me. Yeah, I almost got killed by lightning. I almost got, me and my dog almost got killed by lightning. I mean, yo, I was out there. I was out in the cemetery walking. And my dog wanted to keep walking to the church. And before I could even leave the cemetery, a big ball of lightning came right behind me and hit a tree. That shit must have been, it was like less than 10 feet away from me. That shit, it was so, so loud. I felt like I just got flash banged. You know, like you don't fuck with none of that lightning shit. I'm surprised your dog didn't let you know. Like they usually can like tell where it's going to hit. Maybe he was, maybe he was telling you where to go so you didn't get hit or something. But it was... (laughs) Uh, they're always calling that. Uh, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I mean the lightning's cool, but it's also really scary because it's like I don't know, man. There's a lot of like I'm just out in the backyard in the field, you know, could just get totally slammed with a lightning bolt. I hey, don't want to get hit by a lightning bolt. That'll be good for the views, though. Me and Mech will get a lot of views for our future videos, and you'll be uh, okay, oh, right yeah. a okay. <laughs> That is true. Okay, I, I call copyright on any video of me getting right. blasted by the lightning ball. I mean, you could still have it for your Don't podcast. Worry, me and just uh, I would probably get um, sued by your mom and that if that actually happened. If it was live, yeah, we'd probably get sued. <laughs> nah, nah, actually, we'll make a ton nah, of money and call. we'll treat your dog like a king. Your dog will just be like living in a mansion by himself. <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong, man. <laughs> like yeah. I, just, I can see like why guys are there, like up in heaven, like, oh yeah, I got my boy Harlem. He's my dog. I like to have my dog to chill by. Yeah. Oh my god, hot next. Oh, it's gonna be my call day. Wow, thanks, Jake. <laughs> uh, it, seems, it seems like a lot of people who get struck by lightning seem to survive it. Some of them, so you might be good. <laughs> oh, there's some people I hate down here in Florida, and I still say if I end up dying down here, I want to be buried just so I can actually go haunt people. 
No, if you want to haunt people, they got to hang you. They got to, like, take your body and they got to hang it from, like, a rope. Yeah. Because, you know, the Chinese, the ancient Chinese said that hanging a body over somewhere makes it haunted. Hmm. No, yeah, I'm why do you think people thinking. bury bodies? I don't mean. Oh. Okay, but, hey, you know. I see the black eyes down there. Oh. Yeah, you know, but how badass would it be to like be dead and have your body be hung at like some abandoned farm or something? It's like, oh, this guy must have killed himself here. It's like, nah, he just died and his friends came and put his body there like he wanted it to be. <laughs> you know, it's like, it would be pretty sick though, pretty sick. That'd be pretty cool though, haunt some place. But I guess you only haunt it like temporarily. Like once the body decomposes enough, it's like up oh, gone. So enjoy well, the haunting while it lasts, you know? But the corpse from, like, watching Supernatural, it's, like, there forever unless the actual person actually ends up just, like, burns in it. Because, like, it's there in a capsule. So technically, if you learn how to, like, actually, like, whoa, you can go anywhere you want to and see, like, what's up, bitch? What's up, bitch? Or at least that's so what supernatural good. words is, and you just got home. And like shit, like you hang all like let's say a necklace or something comes from the other dude or whatnot. Like, yeah, there's uh, there's people that can actually haunt you if they're actually buried and you got their like corpuses or whatever you call it, like their ring finger or uh. I don't know, it's so supernatural. It comes from a movie that's like scientific, but I still think it's actually real shit that actually could be real. That's my opinion. It's true. It can happen. It can happen, man. Which is why when I die, I still keep in all my palms and all my everything being like, if I ever have kids or best friends, be like, all right, which which one do you want? Be like, okay, you keep this. I'll haunt as a friend. <laughs> know. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, I would be I would be freaked out if I saw wow. that pop up out of nowhere. I would literally. <laughs> oh, trust me, dude. Oh, a... yeah. Especially I if you say have like a... when I first moved here. I still say it's all a ghost. I still say. And I only saw him like her once or twice. And it was like almost like a woman in white or a woman in blue. But it was like it was like all blue. But like wearing a white dress, I'm kind of like. What the fuck am I looking at? Wait, I still say I saw her twice in person, and I swear to—I actually think it was three times because I saw me out in the garage, and I ended up opening up the door, and everything was like all locked up. And remind me, I'm just getting out of work and everything like that. I'm kind of like, that's just not real. Well, like, I felt cold and shit like that, and I was kind of like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a freaking ghost. And even um, my mom and dad seen like, like, yeah, we've seen ghosts here before. So I'm like, they actually seen a ghost like around here, just like chilling. And I'm kind of like, well, who says I haven't seen them? Cause like, I'm pretty sure I saw it. Cause what's my mom was right here? Cause yeah, they actually told me when he first moved in. Like, yeah, we seen ghosts. I'm not sure this fuck with me, but no, I still say I I, I seen ghosts, but yeah. Even in my old PA, PA house, I remember uh. Okay, you remember my downstairs where my computer was? It's like chillaxing. Yeah. There was like a dude with like creepy fucking beard. I was like about this fucking big, about this 
freaking big. That say like this was the door from out back. He you know, just like walked straight through and saw my house. I'm kind of like, what the hell is happening? He kind of like came like right, and I felt the wind. And he was like, I'm gonna kill you. I'm kind of like, Damn. freaking out of it, freaking out of it. But I'm like, unless you can lift shit, you can't do shit that I don't know about. I was gonna let smooth on with. Get out of my life. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, ghosts are pretty I interesting. Some people don't believe in it. Other people do, but I do believe in it. Uh. Yeah, it's out there. And you just think, like, why would all this shit about ghosts and haunting and spirits, like, why would that even be a thing if it didn't have some kind of truth to it? Well, they... People want you to think it's not real, but other people do. Like, people just don't want you to think, like... They want you to think, like, you're mentally insane. But you know what you're seeing, so you can tell like crazy stories. But you not yet you know your personality so there, so you can tell stories on what's going on in the world. And that's the way I kind of like to think about it. Yeah. Like you can tell stories that are true, but half people won't think they're real. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of shit's true that people want you to think ain't true, you know? Like, damn. You hear about that shit about, like, the catacombs in Paris and France that's got, like, six million plus bodies under it? I heard someone say that it was like, oh, six million bodies under it. It's true. All skeletons and corpses. Did you know they got some concrete and sealed off part of it? Oh, because it's like unstable or some shit. I kind of want to get a jackhammer and We're go check out that. those We're catacombs. We're finding a place. Over so we can go over and check it out. Like the catacomb, the Paris catacombs. They they actually look like the final boss of Earth. Like the final dungeon of Earth. Like it's it's f- skulls everywhere. Skull thrones, skulls and, and bones and all the walls. It's fucking mental. It's like and you see some parts of it are like blocked off. You're like, there's gotta be like whole like a whole like some kind of demonic, satanic, masonic, some kind of weird church, you know? Like some kind of ancient kind of like weird ass church. You know what I heard? I heard that it like the ancient, like the biblical giants that were talked of in ancient times. I heard that there was like the giants that farmed humans there and like around the Paris area. And then like after they were done eating them, they would take the bones and like use it to make these like weird structures underground. I mean, shit. I remember hanging out with my uh, cousin Deb and her uh, young cousin one time, and he like started like walk around like these like uh, electrical places like around her neighborhood, right? And then she was like, "I feel like there's a lot of negative energy around here." And so tells me, I'm kind of like, "What are you seeing? Ghosts or some shit?" So I'm like, "Yeah, I should do." I'm kind of like, "Ah." I tell us, ladies. We should probably walk out here. And that, yeah, like, I'm just kind of like chilling around here. I'm kind of like, I'm looking around here. I'm kind of like, I want to go school a bit more. And I'm kind of like, ah, I should listen, ladies. I should listen. But like, her one friend, I, uh, sorry, Abigail or something. I don't know. One of her old friends. And one of her, like, Super young when I was in my, not even my teens, and I was like younger, younger. And I was like, ah, this is cool. Yeah, we did a lot of cool stuff together. We we hanged out. We she introduced me a lot of my, her friends, and 
Ah, cool, eh? So do. So chill. So bad. A lot of cool people. Yeah. One of the people that can kind of say, like, I, I, I see bad vibes. Like, you ever, really like, hear about those people that kind of, like, kind of tell by, like, your hand, like, oh, your 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 person is down. Oh, you recently are going to get married. Oh, uh, what are they called? Psychologists or, um, yeah, so psychics or psychics. Psychics. I don't believe in any of that shit, honestly. They're probably just like making up a bunch of bullshit. Taking what you want to hear or think, like, oh, what's gonna happen? Okay, I'll take my hand. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will let you believe what you think <laughs> on. Peel off my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't believe in that shit though it's like what God believes in he believes in I do believe in God but it's like just like uh, what you said Jake <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I don't believe in that shit dude I don't know there's some kind of shit out there some kind of weird shit out there like some kind of secret secret society secret whatever I always thought that shit was pretty interesting like, what's the big deal with all that shit, right? Like, what's it for? What's it about? What's the goal? Like, what would be some kind of weird goal that you'd have to keep a secret, you know? It's like, mm. the one thing, like, when I feel like I'm, if I were to see one person, I'm going to be, like, either my mom or, like, an old person or whatever that kind of knows me would have been, like, ah, she caught a head. She already knew what I'm, what's in my life ahead of me, being like, all right, tell me. Tell me what's in my hand. I, I really don't believe in it, uh, whatever that word was. <laughs> and tell us in the future. I can tell, man. I can tell from here, your future. It'll be, Mech is going to drink bush beers in the future. Oh, wait, something else has come to me. Uh Marijuana, marijuana. He's gonna smoke lots of mar. Uh, wait, something else. Uh, cigarettes. Uh, uh, wait, wait. Uh, uh, uh. He's gonna eat hot sauce. Lots of hot sauce and stuff. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, uh, it's, it's one thing because I do want to do it. Oh wait, wait. Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> peanut <laughs> butter. Peanut what butter whiskey. Future. <laughs> oh man, I wonder if I'm gonna be right. I'll have to find out. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Cigarettes, you get. Beer, you probably... Okay, unless I have a kid, then I'm probably going to be like my cousin right now, where he's kind of going to be taking a month off and like trying to lay off, because... Alright, if I actually have a kid, I would actually would lay off with like booze and blah, 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 being like can I actually find some somebody to actually help me out? Being like, ah, I'm gonna raise this kid right. Gotta teach my be a man or girl how to be a woman. It's kind of like, okay. If I still want, like, if I can afford it, I still want four kids. But if I can't, then fuck me. I'm gonna die alone. But. I shall look to find a girlfriend eventually. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. that's how I feel like it's me dying alone. But I don't know. I tried and tried. I tried a couple times. Bro, I can see you rocking. Once. I can see you. Wait. Uh, Mech's going to have 16 kids. Uh, <laughs> 16, bro. That's the number. It just came to me. Okay. Fuck off, Chad. <laughs> Alright, this poor girl, I'm kind of still a little concerned because she didn't admit it that we had sex. And, like, all, all this service, like, her moaning in the back while we were actually, like, doing it, like, right in the back of the kitchen. And, literally, she still didn't freaking admit it. And I'm like, really? I'm like, 
yeah, I kind of feel like I'm a girlfriend now. We we did it. And then she's like, the manager came up to me saying, like, you know, she's actually, like, looking to get married soon or whatnot. I'm kind of like, yeah, okay. She's kind of, like, kind of fucking her up a little bit. I'm kind of like, okay, yeah, I get it. And I'm kind of like, hmm. you know what? This layoff, man. I don't care. And then I'm kind of like, shut up. I know I did it with her because, like, all the this dude even came up to me saying, like, oh, I heard moaning back here. And I'm kind of like, fuck, it was me, Michelle. And I'm kind of like, whatever. I have sex in Virginia. <laughs> Big fucking deal. I could even have a kid right now in Virginia that I fucking don't know about. I can, I, Sony's I can probably reminding me and saying I don't have a kid. The moaning. Like, who knows? It's probably like oh, 10 years why now. Why is it so small? Oh, it needs to be bigger. Oh. <laughs> you, I could actually have a kid in Virginia. Fuck you. I actually literally freaking could. I so remember that day. Exactly. <laughs> I and mean, actually got a similar thing kind of happened between this other girl, but kind of fucked me like I'm a car, but. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, I'm a rag. <laughs> like, yeah, fuck this chick in her car, you know, no biggie. They come after me, bro. I don't come after them. Like, like Chadwick said, I'm the alpha. Yeah, you be alpha. Yeah, I go, I go to Mick for dating advice uh, all the time. <laughs> yeah, just some retarded guy. You don't mind the lies, dude. He flirting with women, trying to become friends with them because eventually you'll get friend benefits. And when you're become an adult, you'll you'll get those sexual benefits. Oh, the sexual benefits, you say. Oh, the sexual benefits. Yo, Jake, that's not what I'm going to ask you. Jake. What? Yeah. Do you, do you remember Ashley Friendly? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've seen her. One girl that I actually always had a crush on still want to bang her. And I wish I dated her in high school. And I talked to her a lot in high school if I remember rap, but we just never dated. But still for this day, kind of makes me wonder because I got a snap. Oh, man, you should see her snap. Shit, dude, it's hot. It's hot. But it still kind of makes me wonder, can I make something happen if I move down? Not move, but like. Can hook up or something like you know what I mean, big dog. Like you know what I fucking mean. Oh, what I mean, big dog. <laughs> do you know what? Do you know what he means, Jake? <laughs> yeah, I know what he means. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna bust up them cheeks. Oh, you know I tried. <laughs> you know I tried in middle school. You remember Miley or Meta? You remember that girl, yeah. Miley or Meta? Yeah, yeah. I tried getting with her several times. Freaking Josh or James. I think in his name was James. Fuck that guy. He stole her away from me. Fuck her. I mean, fuck him. Yeah, you were trying to fuck her. Yeah. Oh, bang. I was trying to bang her pussy, bro. Bang. Not her anus. <laughs> That's fine. It's the same thing, kind of. Well, if you uh, what? if you send these videos over to them after we make them, they might be into uh into this whole conversation, and it might be all about it, right, Jake? Jake's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you never yeah, know. Kind of famous out of this shit, but it's kind of like, I don't give a shit. Let let them. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, like the guy from <laughs> South Park that's a little bit of a plumber. Like, <laughs> All right, it's oh, not yeah. It's right. not there. Yeah, not there. Now, so, now like, I'm questioning which one from South Park you're talking about here. <laughs> oh, like I fucking oh, like that Mel Gibson. Oh, oh, my nipples. Oh, why did they uh, when I twist them? <laughs> I fucking love South Park. That's so funny. I know, right? You can reference anything from South Park because they're so fucking <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was a kid. I watched the episode where uh, Mr. Hanky, the talking uh, Christmas poop, uh, fucking uh, took a fucking uh, shower in like Mr. Garrison's uh, fucking coffee cup with like uh, with his toothbrush. <laughs> and uh, I'm just thinking like that's the. <laughs> I, I was a kid. That was so fucking funny. That's so stupid. Just. <laughs> This is stupid shit that we see on fucking TV, bro. <laughs> wow. You put this fucking turd in my <laughs> in my coffee cup. Mr. Garrison, no, he's trying to have anything to do with it. Oh, uh, I'm going to okay. change my, myself and girlfriend soon. I'm going to go back to high school. And, oh, no. I'm going to change that's my dick. My dick's running away. Oh, no. You know in that South Park episode where Mr. Harrison's like, my dick. <laughs> my dick. Oh yeah, where yeah, where Kyle has his balls as his fucking uh, knee joints because he's black, you know. And then uh, fucking <laughs> he fucking jumps trying to get the ball like the LeBron dunk, and then his fucking testicles fucking explode. My balls. I don't know. I also like the episode where the guy's talking about the distilled grain or the the distilled uh, gluten. Like people are saying it's bad. People are saying it'll make your dick fly off. Like make your dick fly off. And then he fucking he's like, oh, eat that concentrated wheat gluten. And then he eats it. And then he's like, then <laughs> his fucking dick starts spinning around and flies it <laughs> off like a helicopter. Uh, oh, look, there's your dick. Dick flew off. What was uh, Sandmar's son? It was Kyle's, right? Kyle, like, you remember that? The girl that he tried going after, um, and he kissed, like, Mwah. Wendy! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or Wendy kisses Stan or something. He's just Wendy. like, Wendy! Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that's so funny. funny thing, man. Something I realized about myself after watching South Park, dude. I am straight. I want to... I'll be honest with my life. I, I kiss a few dudes. And, I mean, honestly, I don't even care if saying this, like, publicly or whatever. I did it once with one dude. And... What not? And I'm kind of like, whatever. It does nothing for me. No love. And that was like way back when I was like in PA. I was like playing card games and shit like that. And I'm kind of like, yeah. Dude's doing nothing for me, but woman, oh my god. Like, I had like a few kisses like down here, especially like one hot kiss that actually means something. Actually, like, I go to like smoke the like like French kissing, bro, and I kind of just start walking. And Romani, I am sober. She just start started making out with me for a freaking minute or so, more than a minute. And then I'm kind of like just walking around and like, oh, oh, I, I, I feel, I feel Lena. I feel like I'm all wobbly, like whoa. <laughs> And the one dude comes up to me like, you good? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. But yeah, I know I'm 100% straight. Okay, well, that's nice. Very good.
Okay. <laughs> Heck yeah, me too, man. Holy shit. Although, you remember that uh, the porn stuff you were drawing? I kind of want you to draw another one. Just so I can get people laughing. Be like, start drawing porn. Like, make yourself like draw, drawing like doing like added tits. I feel it's fun to do like this freaking door. Like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> like, silly. So like, I still say fun to say. Like, porn is just so fucking boring when it comes to straight porn. And I'll be honest with you, bro. It's like, fuck it. I jerk off to strap on dicks. And honestly, still for this day, I actually kind of want to find, like, girl, we're talking about fun is for now. I want to find a girl that has that, has that kind of gut to be like, <laughs> like, I want to find this, like, I was like, look at her face before girls were, like, taking shots or and this one girl was just like slapping her butt with her it's like big long dick it's like why does that remind me of bondage or whatever <laughs> I'm like it just okay, slaps her with her big long dick <laughs> 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 I haven't had a last dance for my birthday, dude. And yeah, I got freaking hard there in the last dance, and yeah. Yeah, what happens? I'm it happens. Great as balls, bro. Ain't no dude mm. can turn this guy gay. Okay. I know. I know. I've had some funny things happen. Like, I was pushing, uh, I was pushing like my one friend's uh, mom's whatever friend on the uh, on the swing, and like you know, and there was some friction going on. So you know, like uh, on the swing, so I did kind of get a little chub, you know. Then one of my friends is like, "Yo, Jake, you got a boner." I'm like, "Bro, come on, man!" Like, oh, I was just pushing her on the swing, like. And there's like a little friction caused me to get a little, a little hard. You know, it happens. You know, shit happens. You know, it's not like, it's not like I'm, it's not like I'm trying to be like, oh, you know, evil Jake over here with his penis of doom. You know, it's like, it does sound pretty badass though. So how hard did you uh, push her on the swings? Not that, not that much. I mean, just a normal push. I, mean, I was getting like a pretty good like push in there at the end. I mean, <laughs> but it's just because when I'm being pushed on the swing, I want someone to really like give me that fucking like mega push. But I wasn't doing that. I wasn't like I'm trying to like break someone's fucking back ribs by giving them like the mega like fucking <laughs> the mega push, you know. But I was still giving like a pretty good push, like some good air, you know. Probably could have like jumped off the top of that swing, like at the height of the swing, could have got like eight, ten feet. I mean, good. Maybe a little more if you really like fucking really flew up there. It all makes if sense. You really now. had confidence. Yeah, I mean, it happens. You know, it happens. It wasn't on purpose. I know some people. Some people see the end result and think that everything was planned in order to have that happen. It's like, nah, bro, I'm just uh, retarded, you know. <laughs> yeah, I do it for all my students, dude. Cause like, you know, freaking a freaking phone I got where you just like try to destroy it. The freaking fake phone, the key I had, it's like, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. <laughs> Oh, We're both fucking retarded, man, in our own ways. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. It's true. It's true. We are all, like, you know. Like, I gotta get uh, Chadwick to come over. Uh, you gotta wanna push me on the swing side? I'm not letting you push me on the swings after that story. No, no, no. I don't have a swing side. Okay, you just gotta no, come over so we can go. Yeah, we gotta go biking, you know? 
<laughs> Stop at the uh, mark and push me on the swings on the on the ride. Chad, you wanna, you no, wanna go go the <laughs> uh, uh, no. No, I'm good, man. Uh, yeah, I gotta go biking now. <laughs> I'm just uh, saying, like, I'm retarded because I haven't learned how to bike until, like, last year. So I'm just, like, a giant retard. Yeah, it's probably how to bike first, but my did technically, our other Mike finished how to do it for you, but... Yeah, but, yeah, get... I, yeah, it took a lot of effort to get me to learn how to bike, so... We got you to do it, though. Yeah, it's true. True, it's nice. Uh, I swear my bike is like half broken, so uh man, it's just I swear it's not me, it's the bike. <laughs> well, I don't know, like other Mike, he's getting like his bike all fixed up, but it's like his bike is just like fucking I don't know. He's like, oh, I messed up the primer. I'm going to have to reprime it. Oh, there's bubbles in the primer. It's just like, ah, oh, geez, Mike. Like, I mean, you know, get the whole new can of primer at the Home Depot and do it again, I guess. I mean, whatever. You can definitely do it, though. What do you mean, bubbles? Like, uh, in the, in the, like, in the system? Like, no, no, is. Like, the whole bike is, like, fucked, and he's just, like, repainting the thing and, like, you know, like, getting the rust off all the, whatever, the chain and the gears and everything. And, like, all that part's, like, done, right? It's just having to get, like, a new paint job because some of the paint chipped off on the frame and was uh, getting rusty do, underneath. He's got to do Barbie pink for sure. <laughs> Barbie pink. Yeah. yeah, he would look totally just, yeah, like... Totally unreal in the Barbie paint job, pink fucking. <laughs> He's just like the last person you'd think would be riding that. Exactly. That's, That's scary. Make it great. <laughs> I tell you what, I told you all one of my horns that I can't keep. Now y'all say one of your horns. Uh, one of my horns. Ah, uh, damn. Mine's mistress's horn. When he like slapping and also just like boom boom at the butt. I said that already. Y'all get one of your kinky horns. Come on. Come on. Hey. Don't leave me hanging here. Okay, I'm gonna leave you hanging, you know. Because I feel like I always really liked uh fat chicks because they're really hot, you know. Okay. And, okay. You know, I'm I know a lot of guys don't like fat chicks and are like, oh, they're gross. But I don't know. I'm like, damn, I just want, like, this big fat chick to just fucking lay on top of me and just fucking, like, oh. Just fucking totally just, like, chill like her out. Face, you know? her, her butt on her face. Yeah, you Not know. Gonna lie, happens, the happens. number way to die is being choked out by a butt by a skinny girl and it's being like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's like choke oh, myself yeah. to death. That's like my number one to die. What about you, Chad? I'm into uh Come on, Chad. We both said shit. I'm into normal normal stuff. Come on. Everybody has one kinky side of them. Everybody has one kinky side. I don't know that I can think of anything that's crazy to unless I lie. <laughs> Yeah, well, we don't want you to lie. Lying's bad, you know, especially <laughs> about this. Um, maybe me and Jake are just some kinky ones around here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. But I'm proud of me, you know, I'm kinky. And if a girl asks me to suck her toes, I'd be like, especially she's hot, super hot, I'd be like, I'll run her toes all day. And it's just... yeah. Oh, actually, you know, yeah, I'm not going I like the uh, actually I got one. I like I like the dress up in the uh, outfits, like the whole like uh, anime shit. Uh, That's kind of chilling. Yeah, I mean that'd be nice. It'd be nice. 
But I don't know. I'm not like crazy about all that. But I don't know. I don't know what kind of outfit. I kind of just feel like workout outfits are like super hot because they're basically like something some stripper would wear, like these super booty shorts and this like fucking tube top ish. It's like, it's like, oh. One thing that kind of reminds me is like, okay, I might be watching too much porn. I don't fucking know. And I really don't care. I am definitely. I'm not (laughs) going. I mean, you know. I went up with the mayor and it was just like one like middle aged woman. I was like in her. 50s or 60s or whatever. She was 40s to 60s, but she looked really freaking good. She she did like um massages and everything. She wore wore like these black denim jeans that were like were all leather. I'm kind of like God, like that reminds me of so freaking. I want to sit out loud, bro. I'm kind of like. Dang, that reminds me of pop porn. <laughs> I really wanted to say it out loud so freaking hard, man. Like, I wanted to say, like, that reminds me of pop porn. <laughs> Not that. Nice. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, pretty strange here. So it's kind of like I really hope I'm not. I'm saying all this shit out sad, so I really hope I don't get arrested for saying shit out loud. <laughs> 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 but I don't give a shit, honestly. I really don't anymore. If you want to get to know me, this is how you get to know me. Nice. This is me. Yeah, oh, and Jake, me. Please try not to show your friends about this, especially our old friend Danny. Yeah. Please don't. Yeah, I don't think he's watching that. Yeah. Oh, he's on his popular YouTube channel, Decart96. <laughs> you know? This fucking <laughs> War Thunder YouTube channel. <laughs> Yeah, what's up, cuz? I know. Yeah, right. <laughs> it was funny. I was just talking about him because, like, I was going to the uh, driving past the Home Depot uh, with Mike, going to the Wegmans by there. And he was like, Oh, if I go in there and I see that Danny Gardman, I'm going to punch him right in his face. <laughs> <laughs> no, trust me, dude. If I am there first, I would do that before you do because he acts like he's better than me. And honestly, I am sick and tired of than that asshole. So, trust me, if I'm there with you, it's gonna be me. Be like, Jake, bang off my punch. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, sounds we're gonna get arrested that day because I feel like we're gonna go hands on the police. <laughs> like, oh. Fuck. <laughs> and we're gonna be both going up there and being like, uh, we fucked up, mom and dad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't hate Danny, you know, I don't want to punch him in the face, but like, you know, he can be pretty smug, and like, you, sometimes you want to s- slap that smug look right off his fucking face, you know? <laughs> I mean, I don't do a lot of shit, bro. With my stomach, you even knock me out straight in the face. And I can still stand up for that shit. So it's kind of like, but I have to give me a black guard. So who says I can't knock that fucker out? You got to piss me hard enough to, though, because, oh, you don't know how big and strong these guys get. Yeah, it's true. I've been hitting the gym. Just got back from the gym today, feeling good. Been hitting the, uh, you know, all the arm machine, shoulder machine, chest machine. Feeling good. Oh, man, but I'm starting to feel sore now. I know the soreness is only, like, starting now. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to be like, oh, shit. Oh, my whole upper body's all, like, shriveled up. But, I mean, I'm eating. I got the nutrition. You know, build up the, the muscle back. You know, it's all good. Kind of makes yep. you wonder. 
Is Danny K? Is he so chubby, chubby? I, I have no idea, honestly. I haven't seen him in years. You know, I think last thing I heard was like, uh, I mean, I'll be here for a bit. I mean, maybe like another like 20 minutes or so. I mean, because I had my thing like halfway uh, charged. I'm going to go grab and then I'm getting beer like 10%. I'm going to grab a beer real quick. Oh, and Danny? Yeah, you well, do it. Me... So... Yeah, what's wrong with the iced tea, bro? It's I just like unity. <laughs> well, dude, it's just like, well, when I stopped drinking iced tea for a week, that week I lost 10 pounds. Like, I checked it. I checked the weight at the beginning and the end of that. I can't believe that. It's hard to believe. Like, yeah. What do you think that. it is? The sugar or, like, uh, well, sugar and the iced tea you're having? Oh, yeah, the sugar. <laughs> There's way too much sugar. The sugar is, like, killer. It just totally get, kills you. You got to get the not no sugar, just plain ice. You can get at the store in a bottle. It's like Japanese brand tea, and it's just straight up tea and water. It's good. Oh, no, but I just can't. I just can't go back. I can't go back to the iced tea or any tea. I mean, maybe some chamomile well, tea, tea or something. Tea maybe. should make you lose weight, actually. It's got, it's got a, like, you know, it's got what you call it, uh, caffeine in it and stuff. It's like. I would think if you're drinking, not the sugary stuff like you were drinking, but if you don't drink it with sugar in it, it should be pretty healthy for you. And actually, like, man, this is my weight right now, bro. I'm not too bad. I actually lost a bit of weight. Uh, you're not. Yeah, too great. Like you're not. You're not too great either, though. So, put that away. <laughs> uh, I lost a little bit more weight. I was out to here, but I'm done here. But yeah, yeah I'm so. Little. If oh, I had a baby, I'm having a baby. I'll put my that's baby me. I out. mean, I used to be, what is it, like 325, and now I'm like, what is it, like 239? So it's like, went from being like, uh, yeah, that's you know, more of a thing. Yeah, well, I used to be down to like 220, but it was bulking season for like during the winter. So I gained like, you know, just under 20 pounds. So. But, I mean, that was the thing. It's like gaining the muscle and then, like, you know, go on some more bike rides and trim the fat and get back into the biking thing for the summer. That's what I was talking about. Like, we got to go biking together. You know, I think we got a, a, a bike to spare, you know, got some extra tire, you know, like inflatable things if one of them's broken and everything. It's nice. You know, biking's good. I'll probably be left behind, you know. I'm so... I'm still, like, really new. No, I, was thinking biker, it was so. gonna be me. I was thinking it was going to be me that would be left behind. But, yeah, I mean, dude, I, would, I need to get a, back into that with you guys as soon as possible. We'll, we'll be doing that. I'm ready for it. It's oh, good. yeah. Okay, well, let's do it. Yeah, get together. I think we'll do some hiking, too. Yeah. Yo, Jay, let me know. I so say you can still do an under bunker thing with your parents. I mean, like, I just want to rent, like, it might be, like, only for, like, a little while, too. Like, you can probably, like, rent out that spot from your parents. I mean, like, I, I will live underground. I mean, like, ah, uh, this is my spot. Nice. Like, I didn't tell you, bro, like, either get, like, a spot where you can, like, rent it all out. And learn to be, like, underground home. And, like, get the perfect, um, air and everything. Get that all figured out. Right. Like, usually your dad has, like, Mexican or whatever people to be working for him to be, like, right. Yeah, I'm telling you, like, you got a big enough yard where you can, like, go to under bunker yard underneath there being, like, all right, this is my spot. Next and it's, like, that part of your like, parents for, like, several years to be, like, this is my spot. And nice. you got so freaking much money Change which sets that freaking Florida man. Because if I actually had like the afternoon down to do in here, 
Yeah, well, isn't like what Florida like a lot of concrete and a lot of swamp? Like it would be hard to build some structures under That's the, the swamp. Thing I hate about Florida, man. I want to hear hate about moving down here. I can't do any of that, man. It's if I want to move down here because it's like all freaking water swamps. There's no such thing as an um basement. Un, um, basements. Thank you, Chad. Yeah. There's no such thing as a basement because of that freaking thing. Because if there was an actual like underground uh carriage where you can like actually like live down there as like get a waste spot, saying like whatever you want to live in, you can't do that kind of shit down here. You can only live on top. Which is why I like about PA, which is why I still kind of want to live down here. And, I mean, not, I don't want to live down here, but it's like, if I want to save like 20 grand, dude, I would still say and like make it secretly and like have like an underground thing in PA being like for my wife being like, oh yeah, uh, I got a secret place where you have to, but like, you can't know about this, but like, today. Just numbers and shit like that being like you know. well like you can actually have underground campers in PA but you can't have this shit down here so if you have underground campers down here I'm calling campers I can't because I'm not going to remember the word but yeah you, you, you can't have them like down here Oh, shit. And that's one thing annoying thing about it, dude. But like, if you were me in PA, dude, I'd like talk to your dad about it, being like, "Dad, can I mm -hmm. actually like our our yard dig up so I can actually put like these big pods?" Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh shit! God. You, you okay, Jake? <laughs> I think I had to call him in a minute or two. I think Jake's fucked. All right, well, what are you thinking? You want to close this one out here? Um, I think his dad just caught him. Smoke weed or something. Let's close this one out, man. We did a good, we did a good podcast for this evening. Uh, what do you think? You ready? I think Chase thought. Right, um, <clears throat> I um, I gotta call Chase back in like ten or twenty minutes. All right, y'all. Um, you know how we always like to do it. You always like to know how we always like to chill, hang out, and relax. We always like to do our vibe, and we always like to yes, that's gone. Uh, we always like to relax and chill and have our good times and everything like that. And um, why we always just like to have a good vibe here, yo. We always just like to chill, relax, and do our own thing. Just like chill, talk, relax about campers, um, underground campers, like living like underground, deep in the ground, where you have, like oxygen and stuff like that, for zombie stuff and shit like that. We we really like to talk about that stuff, man. Um, I don't really feel like you haven't talked that much this whole entire podcast, but um. Y'all are one for night. Chad, I will I will text you uh in ten or twenty minutes. I wanna even twenty and make sure Chad's I mean uh Jake's okay. Alright. But I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a call in like ten or twenty minutes to make sure Jake's okay. Cause either he got punched by his dad. I don't think he did. I think his dad just got pissed because I know he has Caesar and shit like that from like, I don't know. I also don't think it's from smoking weed. I just think it's like because of his health medication and stuff like that. 
but his parents would kind of think it's from the weed, but I, I don't know. I, I called Jake. I'm going to make sure he's okay. I know it's kind of like me where I honestly should have been kicked out at this point in my life, but um, <clears throat> I'm saying too much. But y'all have a great one for tonight. Y'all have a great one for your freaking day. Go smoke your cocaine. Go smoke your weed. Go, go drink. Go have fun. It's halfway through the weekend. Y'all have a great one for your freaking night. And y'all have a great one for night. And Chad, I'll text you. Peace. Uh, yeah, good, good one. See you soon, man. Peace.